Although you see, the message had already been sent, my dear. <clears throat> no, not the message you would have wanted. Elorens was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. I made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means... The train knows too. Twice. You told that train everything was clear. But... I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you and your little band of rebels. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops to slaughter any survivors. The legend of Lawrence of Arabia dies tonight. Slipped away just in time. Tilkiji was a fool to think we'd ever stay after he escaped. The carnival won't stop hunting us. No, it won't. Let me think. The train's coming a long way. So it'll have to stop to take on water. That's where we strike. Agreed. I'll deal with any sentries then. Rig explosives on the track. Yes, and I'll rally our fighters. When I blow the lines, the, the train will be trapped. So when you hear the blast, you need to attack them with everything you have. It's good. But you know that there's a chance the men may not come. You may set off those explosives and find you're out there all alone. You know that. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. Yes, no. plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set. Oh, my 
man makes plans where we would ambush the train at a significant enemy presence. Those trains dealt with the smoke that could be set. Those troops in the village had to be dealt with before we could push on with our plan to destroy the train. Once Zara secured the town, a trap could be set for the riding train.
Dreams can be a sweet or bitter brew. How did you find it, Dara? And you're right, we do need to think bigger, act bigger. Maybe even the Suez Canal. Tell me, what do you know about battleships? side or the other. The guns will rust. Grass will grow. And there'll be nothing left of any of this. The land will heal itself as everything does in the end. We'll be long gone by then. But maybe not forgotten. History only remembers one in a thousand of us. Then the future will be filled with stories of who we were and what we did, how we lived, how we fought, and how we died. When this is all over and the war is won, they will remember us. But until that day comes, we will stand. We will look death in the eye. And we will. <laughs>